met Mr. Gatsby. No one's met him. They say he's third cousin to the Kaiser and second cousin to the devil. I'm afraid I haven't been a very good host on sport. You see... I'm Gatsby. The Grey Gatsby. Dishonesty. Number one, cheating. People can help but lie, cheat, and steal their way through life. Like in Modern World, dishonesty plays a big part in the book The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, in which the best examples are shown as cheating, covering background, and secrets told. People tend to cheat because they're seeking something that they can get in their marriage. This was the case for three of our characters, starting with Tom Buchanan. Tom Buchanan cheats continuously on his wife Daisy with Myrtle Wilson, a woman living in poverty. Tom has an affair with Myrtle since she's poor and can hurt him in any way. Tom even decided to show Nick his mistress, for which, when going to New York on a train, Tom tells Nick, We're getting off. I want you to meet my girl. This shows us that Tom does not care that even his wife's cousin knows he's cheating on her. Back to Tom and Myrtle. We know this affair is true after Tom and Nick visited George Wilson's garage and as soon as George was out of sight, Myrtle will get close to Tom. I want to see you, said Tom intently. Get on the next train. All right, I'll meet you by the newsstand on the lower level, she nodded and moved away from him just as George Wilson emerged with two chairs from his office door. Oh, oh I'm, I'm in bonds, actually. I want you get on the next train. Now? Yes. Like Tom, Murdo would also take advantage of his ingenuous spouse. Not only Murdo, but Tom would also notice this, for which Tom tells Nick, Wilson, he thinks she goes to see her sister in New York. He's so dumb he doesn't know he's alive. Later, we find out Tom gets a sip of his own medicine when Daisy is seen with Gatsby after the reunion. And Nick, of course, knows about this affair as well, but proceeds to ask Gatsby where he has been and why he fired all the workers at his house, for which Gatsby replies, I wanted somebody who wouldn't gossip. Daisy comes over quite often in the afternoons. Number 2. Background Murdo tells her sister Catherine, I married him because I think he was a gentleman. I think he knew something about breeding, but he wasn't fake to lick my shoe. Which was the reason why Murdo cheated on George. He made her think that he was a man with money, but instead one of poverty who had to borrow even a wedding suit for his wedding. George covered up the fact that he was poor in order for the love of his life, Murdo, to accept him. Another character which covers up his poverty was Gatsby. I'm Gatsby. His smile was one of those rare smiles that you may come across four or five times in life. Gatsby claimed to have inherited his fortune from the death of all his family. But instead, we find out the truth that James Gats, that was really or at least legally his name, he had changed it at the age of 17 and at that specific moment that witnessed the beginning of his career, his parents were shiftless and unsuccessful farm people. And he obtained his money from illegal oil, alcohol, and drug businesses Alan Walsheim, a gambler and gangster. <laughs> ah! <laughs> my boy! My, my, my. Hmm, smells so good. Look at it. Look at you. Mr. Carraway, this is my good friend, Mr. Maya Walsheim. A wonderful pleasure, Mr. Carraway. My pleasure. Tom, suspicious of Gatsby, proceeds to investigate him and tells Daisy all about him. Affairs, you're one of my Wolfshire's bunch. Please, let's go home. See, he and this Wolfshire, they bought up a lot of drugstores and sold bootlegged alcohol over the counter. What about it, old sport? Don't you call me old sport. Similar to George Wilson, the reason for which Gatsby lies is to get Daisy's attention, for which he now has money. Based on these two people, we learned that during this time, men could cover the fact that they were poor to obtain a wife since women mostly cared and wanted money. 
Number three, covering secrets. Some people come into our lives for good, while others come for bad. In this case, Daisy and Tom were the cause of both Gatsby and Myrtle's misery and death. Daisy, who claimed to have loved Gatsby, did not confess that she had ran over Myrtle using Gatsby's car and left the blame for him. Tom, knowing the car which ran over Myrtle was Gatsby's, told George that Gatsby was responsible for his wife's death and led to their death. The saddest part is that Gatsby was innocent and the person who actually ran over Myrtle was Daisy. Nick realized this and explained, they were careless people, Tom and Daisy, they smashed up things and creatures and they retreated back into their money. However, like Daisy, Nick kept the affairs a secret knowing that they were bad. This is ironic since at the beginning of the book he says, I am one of the few honest people that I have ever known, but he is rather being dishonest by not saying anything. Dishonesty can be found in all characters throughout the book. Forms of dishonesty are shown by Tom and Daisy cheating on each other. For the apartment? Whatever you want. Gatsby and George lying about who they really are. And Nick and Daisy keeping secrets to themselves. All come to Gatsby's and guessed at his corruption. While he stood before us, concealing an incorruptible dream. From this, we can conclude that all dishonesty leads to a bad end.